Hi guys, I'm going to be talking about my Ficus Elastica Decora and this is what she looks like. This already came with this when I got her, so um, there has been no like nicks or issues ever since I got her. I've only had this plant now for about not very long, <laughs> not very long. And I just wanted, um, I had the reason I didn't do it on day one, I had a really busy day and I just kind of forgot, but, um, now I do have the time and I don't want to miss it. I wanted to document her right now for my records and anybody else who's curious about a variegated rubber tree or rubber plant or a ficus elastica that is uh, variegated. And this is a decora. Um, it's not as popular as a Taneki or a red, uh, I mean a ruby, a ruby pink. Um, I don't know why it's not as common, but, um, this is what she looks like. Um, the more light supposedly that she gets, the more the leaves turn pink. Um, I don't have a lot of them. There's another one right here that's pink. Um, and right there, those three are pink right there. And, um, this is a new one. So this is what they call a sheath. I, this is my, this is my second ficus elastica. And this is, I, all my ficus elasticas are variegated. And I really fell in love with the ficus after my ficus lirata or a fiddle leaf fig. Because um, I already kind of know how to care for them. As long, I mean, to me, it's easy. And so I, I'm kind of comfortable with that, if, if that makes any sense. And so that's why I, like, wanted to try the, um, excuse me, the rubber tree or the rubber plant or the ficus elastica. But I really didn't like the burgundy. And, um... As soon as I saw this, I'm like, I fell in love. So the fiddly fig also has like a new growth that looks like that. Exactly. It has like a sheath on that. I think it's called a sheath. And then the ins that's the protector on there. And the inside is the baby leaf. And I have another one right here. Um, let me turn her around. She's not very tall yet. She's about a little over a foot, maybe about a foot. Um, there's another one here. I this this came with one, two, three, four, I think five trees in here, if I'm not mistaken. In one pot. And um I'm really, really excited to watch her grow. And hopefully she gets pinker in time. She faces a um, east, yeah, an east facing window, I think. And um, she gets good morning light. Uh, um, from what I've gathered, the Tineki needs to be more of like further away from a west facing window but for whatever reason this is okay to be closer to a window and this is on the second floor um for whatever reason where my house is facing and where this this plant is facing on that window um it gets morning light just for a few hours Versus the one downstairs that would get morning light as well. I don't know why. I just, I don't know why. It's just, I, I don't know why, to be honest. So, um, I just wanted to document this. And there's another one right here that's growing. So, I'm pretty happy about that. And I think when I will update you guys, and this is a big one right here. When I'll update you guys, um, I'm hoping that one of these should be open open or opening or I got a new baby leaf out um when I did see the pictures of <clears throat> this plant it was a lot pinkier 
than the one they had available. But so I'm just kind of hoping that it will do that. And the variegated part is really huge, if you could see that, um, versus my ruby pink. My ruby pink, the sides are really kind of skinny that you can see the pink. It's more, it's like this is thicker. This is wider is what I mean. But it could be also, it could just be like the type of it. And also it could just be the age too. This is my second ficus elastica variegated um, plant. So I don't really know. So when I do know and I study them a little bit more, I'm going to share it with you guys. And I just wanted to show her to anybody who's curious out there and um, anybody who's interested in purchasing this plant. All the info is going to be down below where you can get it and what I, you know, what I water, what kind of dirt I'm using. I'm using an, um, like a regular potting mix. What I've noticed with ficus is they, 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 they're naturally in like humid climates. So an all-purpose mix would be really great. I wouldn't really recommend the moisture control. For pers for me personally, the moisture control has killed my plants. Um, outdoors and indoors. A lot of people would say things like, oh, you're using it wrong. How am I using the soil wrong? It's like an out I used it in my outdoor plants too. Like how am I using it wrong if it killed outdoor and indoor plants? Like that doesn't make sense. Um, it could just be like my area or I don't know. I really don't know, but I'm not really interested in doing that because for me, I work well with the regular potting soil and I use Schultz. Um, I'll try to link everything down below. I'll try to find it online and where you can find it all. And if you can't find it in stores, um, and it does look like a baby pink in real life, and it is just beautiful. Um, when I saw the pictures of this before I bought it, well, like um, like a pinker version of this, but um, at what a decora can can look like, it is like between a baby pink and a medium pink, and. It was just super pink. So I'm kind of hoping. I'm kind of hoping. But I like again. This is my second variegated one. And I haven't had her very long. I'm kind of hoping this is going to turn pink. And the whole entire leaf is going to be pink. Except for the green part. That would just be so breathtaking. That would just be so breathtaking. So. So far. The way I care for this plant. Is I water her once a week with fertilizer and the fertilizer that I'm using um I have tried two different kinds so um I can uh I mean I will put it down below what I have used and um I prefer I mean either one is good to be quite honest I just prefer the botanicare a little bit more but um so far just because she's kind of new to me there is not much of a big difference that I've noticed, but um, what I would suggest is that uh, whatever you start with, with whatever fertilizer, let's just say, because the kind of fertilizers that I fertilizers that I am using are kind of advanced. Whatever measurement or dose that you're doing, I would stick to that. Do not lower it because I did that with my ficus lorata or my fiddly fig, and what happened was the new growth they all fell off because I lowered the dose. So just make sure whatever dose you want to use, you know, they, they come in charts. So that's not a problem. Stick to that. Um, don't go too much, but stick to that one. And when they're doing okay, then stick with that one. Don't, don't go back because if you lower it, you will, you will lose leaves. So just, I don't want anybody else to suffer like I did. Like I was literally... So sad when um, the new growth from my ficus lorata came off. And it took about two months. About two months before new growth from that particular tree to start again. Yeah. You don't want that. So here you go. Um, I would say I would probably just update this as often as I feel like it. Where, you know, there's some there's a difference. There's some new growth essentially. 
you know. Um, so thank you guys so much for all the lovely support. Of course, all my social media accounts are down in the description section. Anything else that I haven't mentioned, let me know down below. I will, um, I will try to answer everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you enjoyed my video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet. And of course, the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.